Good morning. Today we're going to continue our studies of the book of Acts and today we're looking at chapter 13. This chapter covers a number of the events in the ministry of Paul and Barnabas, including their return from Jerusalem before heading on to Cyprus. At Cyprus, we hear the story of them dealing with a sorcerer. And having dealt with this man, they were then able to lead the proconsul, who was the governor of the region, to the Lord. Further on, we see Paul speaking boldly to many people in Antioch, where they originally were greeted uh, eagerly. However, having spoken really clearly to the Jews, he then started speaking to the non-Jews. You know, this caused a real problem, um, which would ultimately end up in both Paul and Barnabas being expelled from the city. But, you know, Paul never minced his words. He was bold and he was a straight talker when it came to speaking about the things of Jesus. But that didn't, like I said, stop both him and Barnabas from eventually leaving the town. But I want to just concentrate on a couple of the verses one at the beginning of the chapter and then one at the very end. And this really sums up the chapter for me. In verse four, it says, so being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went. And then at the very end of the chapter in verse 52, it says, but they shook off the dust of their feet against them and they came to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. I wanna make three really quick points. The first of all was this, all of their travels and adventures were determined by and led by the Holy Spirit. Secondly, whatever they did or said, it was done through the power of the Holy Spirit. And thirdly, regardless of the final outcome of the trip that they and the, and the endeavours that they took, whether they were maybe successful or not successful, the Holy Spirit remained with them. You know, before any trip commenced, we read that both Paul and Barnabas were filled with the Holy Spirit. They realised that without the filling of the Spirit in their lives, they could not make the right choices or carry out God's plans. And just as Paul and Barnabas, before we step out to do the things of God, we need the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to direct and to guide our decision making. We need him to lead our steps. Before Paul dealt with the sorcerer, verse 9 reminds us again that he was filled with the Holy Spirit. I get the impression here that without the Holy Spirit, Paul could not have challenged the sorcerer on his own. He needed that greater power that came from the Holy Spirit to defeat him. And possibly without the Holy Spirit, he could have found himself in real danger. We too need that same strength and power before we enter into situations. In our own strength, we can do nothing. But the Bible tells me with God and with the Holy Spirit, we can achieve all things. Finally, despite being asked to leave or even being kicked out of the town, the Holy Spirit remained with them. He does not leave them and he will not leave us either even in difficult situations. You know, Paul and Barnabas, yes, they were expelled, but they'd already ac accomplished their mission, which was to tell the both the Jews and the non-Jews about Jesus. As they left, they were filled with joy because they had achieved what God had wanted them to achieve. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and ready for their next task. You know, we too need the Holy Spirit for direction, for power, and to be able to take on the next steps and the next step that God wants us to take on in our lives. Have a good day.